The club head. The club head. <laughs> <laughs>
almost a thousand people at a at a friendly game. A thousand people at a friendly game. That was that's that was crazy, really. And uh, yeah, it was just such a good mood already in that friendly game. And then the journalism guy came and he said like, "And no worries, I understand German." So. I will ask you English so you can answer in German. Yeah. And I was like, whew! <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and there, um, from there on, from that point on, uh, I really felt so comfortable. Uh, just not only in the team, also around the team. My life, the physios, um, also with Trolls, Alex, and uh, the coaching team at that time, there was. Um, made it me so easy to uh, to feel to feel comfortable and good here uh, because um, I'm a very family uh, uh, a guy. Uh, I need my family as often uh, as possible around me, uh, especially also my wife. Um, so I knew, okay, I have to do it also for myself uh, as good as possible here. So I decided I also wanted my. Um, all my sofa and all the stuff, uh, my bed here in, uh, in, in Copenhagen, to uh, feel home. Mm. Yeah. But I really have to say, it wasn't the things I took from, uh, from Germany to feel home. It, was the, it, were, it were the people around me who made that, uh, that I feel so comfortable and good. And especially, first of all, the, the club. And uh, I'm, I'm so thankful for that, uh, because I know how it is in football uh, business. It's not often like th like this, and uh, yeah, that's also something I will I will never forget, and I'm very uh, thankful for uh, for that uh, experience and that in that situation as well from from the club. Can you try and describe the relationship with the fans? Also, um, also because a few days ago you had a Fenerbahce again, and it was <laughs> louder than ever. <laughs> yeah, that's goosebumps when I think about it uh, because the first experience of course I knew the fans from the internet before but just from the internet so the, the experience uh, from myself in front of them I haven't had that before and uh, I think the first game was Reykjavik uh, I think that was the first one but I can, could also remember Susun was not uh, like with the seats, so they could not. It was not allowed to stand it. Then they were up at uh, in the corner and uh, on top, and that was kind of the the, the first one. And uh, when uh, Alex told me about Fenerbahce, you know, he was also like a German coach and discipline, and the warm up has to be good and this this this, and he said like, yeah. It's a little bit weird with the with the. He didn't Fenerbahce. like it at the beginning. No, right? it really. It, I would not say I like it, but it it it's kind of disturb his mm. way of uh, before the game, like be focused and. But he told me that, and I was like, okay, sounds interesting. I just see the other guys mm. doing it, and I was like, oh, wondering, okay, they sing your name, they sing your song, and I do like skippings, but no, you have to go straight to the. You cannot finish your exercise, just go. And also when we played like the four against four, no, just yeah. pulse went away. <laughs> I was like, okay, it's interesting. And then I saw it and, and, and this Fenerbahce thing, that took me in a way where I said like, this is so, so special. Uh, this, is, uh, this is so great to have. That's a, for me as a player, that's one of the biggest honor you can you can you can have and achieve from from a, from a club or from fans um, to get your own song from 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 their fans. They they build that club and you get from them a, a, a song. I was just speechless and I had that feeling with every game with every Fenerbahce. I got more. I wanted more. It was for me. It was like kind of a drug, mm. you know. I I, I was so into that uh, Fenerbahce thing and this uh, connection uh, to have with the fans to show them I'm also into the game like you, and uh, I care as much as you to get these three points for Brentby, for you, for the for the club, for uh, for for our success. And this was also always the reason I I showed my emotion. Uh, um, because I lifted like that, but also to show them 
my uh, um, the, the something to give back. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. To to show them. I'm, I'm, I'm there today, I'm here, and I, and I can feel your emotions in me, and you can feel uh, my emotions in my, in my way of playing and in my Fenerbahce. And, uh, yeah, there are so many Fenerbahce's, I, I, I think back, I look back, I, I also can remember it was a very emotional game, or cup game in Ranos, where we won in the in uh, extra time, uh, in the uh, uh, where, crazy goal. where Hani, yeah. and when Hani scored that goal, I also ripped almost my shirt because of these, of these, of these emotions, of these feelings. And like I said, it was in the beginning high these feelings and these emotions with the fans, but for me, with the time, it grew and grew and grew, and uh, it was just uh, like always like an ex explosion. And uh, yeah, it was an unbelievable time with them. Still now, you said it's the Fenerbahce I got in the, in the against Rangers. It's 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 really really something special for me, and it's not just uh, that I say it or that it's said. Um, no, it's uh, I mean it from uh, from the bottom of my heart. Um, and that's also really something I, I really miss in, in Germany. <laughs> Sometimes to have these emotion feelings with the, with the, with the fans and you must I come think, back a little more often. Yeah, <laughs> I think so too. And I think so if if I if I would still live here, I think I would be almost every game in in the stands with the with the with the guys just to to have that feeling. And yeah, like I said, it's it's something special. I think I I don't know where uh, on 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 earth you have that uh, as well in football uh, like like here, um, and I also I always spoke in Germany about that, I always, and also the the last two years in Wiesbaden, when I told them yeah we every player who start or every player has his own song and uh, the guys who are starting eleven, they have to and they always said like. It's impossible. I swear, you can watch it in the internet. Just look, and they were—they were all of them. Oh, crazy! How good is that? Imagine to have that. And I said, yeah, I had it three years, so I had it 111 games. It's unbelievable. And Alex, Alex learned to love it because then yeah. suddenly you could use it yeah. also to mentally be ready for the games. I think the Fenerbahce was also really, really important to to. Uh, to find that connection between Alex and the fans, because of he's sometimes uh, difficult to handle in a way, uh, because he he always wanted to achieve the, the the most of success, but that's his his strength, and that was his strength three years, because he made us better every day, every day, and I think it was sometimes difficult uh, for the people around, um, for the fans maybe to to understand that in a way, but I could also realize or recognize that the Fenerbahce find that connection between Alex and the fans and yes 100% he, he, he loved it uh, he loved his, uh, his, his Fenerbahce and I, I could also remember uh, after I don't know which game it was but I think he was standing there almost for five minutes uh, 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 clapping his hands uh, and celebrating his song because it's like like I said it's it for me and I'm quite sure for him as well it's it's so special to to get uh, a song, your own song from the fans, and uh, yeah, he loved it. That was that was one of the first um, meetings uh, we had with the fans, or it was my first. I think it was before the season. A new coach and uh, the guys from Susin they uh, made like a, a little speech to us, and uh, I will also never forget that speech. Uh, to be honest, uh, it was also in the beginning. And they said uh, to us, and I will never forget that sentence, if you play for the name in front of the shirt, they will always remember the name uh, in the back of the shirt. And that was also something um, I lived three years. I lived that three years, that uh, quote. Because when the guy said that to us, it was not just like, okay, it's sad and uh, the club is important for us. No, it was like this. It was like this. It's like uh, a stone in that Bunby building. And it's one big, big stone of that. 
and uh, I often use that now also in my life. Uh, also, when I talk to, to to younger players, I use that sentence because in Germany there are not that man, uh, many clubs um, where the where the the energy and the, the this this level to lift Brentby uh, is like it like it here, like it is here, mm. and uh, so it's sometimes difficult to understand for them. But for me, it wasn't. I knew from the beginning. Okay, I know how it's going on here. And then also, Supra Societate Nemo we had in the in the shirt. And I was also asking in the beginning, what does that mean? So I was also like really like a. I was so interesting in all these things because I knew, okay, I can identify with that 210%. Because when I grew up as a small kid and you wanted to be a, a professional football uh, player, um, I think I, I, was, I was aiming or I was searching for that club and for these quotes and for these like uh, uh, DNA, mm. I would say. And also my parents, they, they, they grew me uh, uh, like that. It's also like respect uh, um, with all the people. Thank you, you're welcome, hello, goodbye, things like that. And uh, Brøndby is also going in, in that direction. So, and uh, I also heard so many stories about numbers on a jersey. It's not just a number and things like that. And I, I, I felt that, I really felt it. And <laughs> the funny thing about uh, my number four, or Penison's number four, uh, uh, was also uh, the, after I think three or four months when I came to Brentby, um, I think Pete, our physio, he told me about that story with the with the Pers uh, uh, number, and they also had like a, a player before who I don't know him, uh, I don't know the player, so I just heard the story that he was not like into Brøndby uh, and he was just wearing the number four but not uh, living it as a, as a Brøndby player. So uh, they kind of, I don't know, took him his, his, his shirt or his number and uh, uh, Pete told me that after three or four months and I was like... <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and I was like, what? For real? And I will not say it was afterwards a pressure thing. No, it, it was for me more like, okay, I really... Of course, I knew uh, 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 the number before and the player as well when I came to Bumpy, but I, I heard that story the first time. Mm. And for me, it was more like um, when I heard the story, it was even more uh, an honor and I was even more proud um, to wear that number and also to have that already that uh, in a way good connections, in a good connection with the fans in a short time. But for me, it was even more to say, okay, two and a half year, I will uh, put even more my, my stamp on to, uh, to, uh, to make also the fans and they also pair even more proud uh, to, to wear that number four um, in every game and show them that I live Brøndby uh, uh, as well and have it in my DNA yeah. and uh, yeah, not just to wear the shirt or to wear the number, no, so even more to, to lift the shirt, to lift the logo, to lift the club and uh, uh, to lift also uh, pairs number four. And uh, that, was, uh, that was actually really, uh, also really special. And uh, also one of these uh, stories or moments I, I also uh, uh, tell a lot of people in, in, in Germany when they, when they ask me about, uh, about Denmark and Wemby. Um, because a lot of players, they, uh, they did and they do that still. Um, because they also see it in the social media, um, uh, social media, um, how the connection was and the experience I had. So, yeah, it's it, that was also really special, and uh, I can also now say with the with the bottom of my heart, uh, the number four and uh, the jersey and the logo, I still have it in my heart, and uh, I was really proud to 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 wear it. Do you think one day you can be back in Burnley, like not as a fan, but as something else? Could you see that in the future? <laughs> uh, for sure, is that I will come back uh, one, two, three, or four times again. Um, 
but I don't know yet, to be honest. Uh, um, you never know in football. If you would uh, uh, ask me that in uh, Kreuterfurt, I would say, what yeah. should I do in Denmark? <laughs> you know? Yeah. I but, know. So um, I cannot say no, but I also I cannot say uh, yes either. So, But we will see. Uh, football is, uh, is, a, is a, a big, but also a small business. So uh, also small ways um, from from Germany to, to Denmark, but yeah, like I said, I built a house in uh, Germany. I live, live there now with my with my wife and dog. So, but kind of settled see. now. <laughs> yeah, we will see what uh, what the future brings. Mm. And how? Uh, because we sit here with your with your dad, and yeah. it's not the first time that he's uh, yeah. he's here. With yeah. you. Um, how come this also became like a family thing? Because it means as much to your dad as to you. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is. Uh, to be honest, he was. I even didn't uh, uh, tell that I that I, I want to go uh, back here. He already said I come with you. I said yeah, okay, but I was also thinking maybe to take my my wife with me. No, you know, <laughs> there was no option <laughs> because she has to take care of the dog, yeah. and uh, of course then uh, my dad is uh, is with me. No, he's uh, also in that uh, three years. Um, I could really, I could I could uh, I could feel it really fast. That it's not just for me. Uh, the Brøndby thing, I would say, it's all, it was also for my family. Uh, of course, the first game from them was in Aarhus, the Derby home. <laughs> Good game. Good game. It was one-one. Mm -hmm. Andrew scored a really nice goal. And uh, don't mention the guy who made the assist. It doesn't matter. Mm. Um, uh, and I can remember, we drove home from the from the Derby. And uh, then uh, my whole family was kind of, uh, they were excited but also shocked in a way. Mm. Because in Germany you have like the stand like Susil and uh, the other stand who always like supporting. But at the Derby there is no like sit down on the main uh, stand, uh, uh, you know what I mean, main mm. stand. Uh, there's no sit down so. They were. They said they were like standing for 93 <laughs> minutes, and they were like into the TV with the confetti, and they were really they were excited, but in the same way they were kind of shocked because like I never had that in my life. I'm 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 so exhausted. My mom said I'm so I'm, I'm I'm finished. I cannot do anything today because it was like 90 minutes. It was full power, and I was I felt like I, I was standing with the with the hardcore fans. And I said to them, uh, "Yeah, welcome to Brøndby and welcome to Denmark. That's uh, that's how they that's how they live uh, football. No, but not only football. I also said to them, that's how they live the club, and that's how that's the one of these many many DNAs I said with that stones. Um, that's one of that DNA. Uh, the club works, and uh, Brøndby uh, is working, and uh, of course." It was not the only game uh, they were here. Uh, there were a lot, yeah, many, many games, many games. And sometimes it was only, of course, Julie was uh, 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 um, many times here. Then also my sister came um, uh, with his uh, husband and uh, my niece. And uh, sometimes it was only my father with his friends. They were also often here. Um, uh, so. Yeah, and my friends as well, away Derby, away Sønderjysk. Yeah, I met them in uh, Sønderjysk, I remember. You met them in yeah. Sønderjysk, yeah, of course. And it was so funny because they were like, this is the best thing we ever tried. And I was like, but this is a shitty stadium. And, uh, you know, Hedersliv away, that was before they had the new stadium. Yeah. So the yeah. end stand, was, there was no roof and it was just yeah, some yeah. It was old, really, yeah. but they were like, and it's it was like best. it was cold. Yeah, and it was raining, and it was As, and it was like the the pitch was full of sand. It was yeah. raining, and it was like I can also remember a really tough, tough game. Yeah. And they were like, I said to them, please um, call um, the guy from uh, from Wembley Support. I <laughs> sent them the number and uh, looked at you at ten o'clock at the at the at the bus uh, yeah. when the bus leaves. And and uh, did I tell you the story with the beer? I don't know. <laughs> it's actually funny. I have to tell you that. Yeah. So they were like, they were, they are really good guys, yeah? and they were, they were also fast into into Brøndby and uh, into into the fans. So they, they wanted to make like a 
not a small present, but they wanted to uh, bring something with them when they come to when they come to the to the meeting mm. with the bus. <laughs> So they bought uh, like uh, 36 uh, uh, cups of, uh, of Carlsberg beer. And then they came with that 36 Carlsberg and the guy from Bremby Support saw them and they were coming to the bus and then he was like, yeah, hi guys, uh, it's nice to meet you, but give me the beer, give me the beer. And I put it away and they were a little bit confused and uh, he put the beer away. So they went into the bus and later they found out or they told them that uh, Carlsberg beer is uh, absolutely no-go. We only drink uh, Tuborg because we are Brönnby and uh, yeah. Tuborg is like the, the real Brönnby beer or the worker beer. And Carlsberg is like, uh, I would say, Schickeria beer. <laughs> okay. And uh, it was so funny because they were also like, uh, they, were, they were after that trip, suddenly they were just in love. And that was also one of that stories. They told me, the, that was the first thing I heard. Hey, that was with the beer and it was so funny <laughs> and it's so nice. And, and also they sent me so many pictures and uh, videos from that Sender trip. Uh, um, yeah, I will also, they will not forget that anymore and me neither because I think we won actually uh, really close to one or, or was it 2-0? 2-0 uh, I think. It was a, it was a equal game, a yeah. uh, long time. And yeah, because I think, I think Paulus yeah. scored and then Clement in the last minute. Uh, was it not, ha not Hani? Uh, also with the cross from, uh, from uh, Johan. Yeah, yeah. But also Jan scored. This, the, uh, I can't remember. I think, uh, um, uh, was it also uh, Paulus scored? Uh, maybe then it was... Uh, maybe it's two different games, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. but it was, uh, uh, so, but it was, it was really nice then. And also, uh, funny was also, I was like uh, giving my shirt to them. <laughs> and uh, my friend was standing there and I threw the, the shirt and then a Burnby fan came and took the shirt and was running away. <laughs> so he didn't get it, so another one. So Too bad. Hilsen uh, to the guy who uh, has the, the shirt now, it was actually really funny. Uh, but my, my friend was also, he was, he was laughing a lot because uh, this guy was just waiting for the throw and then catch it and then he was gone. <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, like you said, it was not just for me, um, uh, a, ver a very special time, also for my family and friends. And uh, we were actually today already uh, looking for, for summer, for, for, for a summer horse, something like that, uh, just to come with, uh, with the whole family here. Because we all have not only Brönnby, also Denmark in, in our hearts now. And, uh, yeah, I think it will not uh, take until next summer and the next time here, but we will see how it is from, from my schedule. But of course, my wife, she also wants to come as soon as possible back. Mm. So uh, we'll see. We, we will see us soon again for sure. <laughs> what was it like to see Bromby win the, the championship? Ah, that was, that was, that was so special. That was so nice to see. That was, uh, that was a feeling, wow. I can remember that I, I think the last three games, I was always standing all the time. In front Do you of remember the, the Aarhus game? Ah, of course, of course I was. Did you almost die as well? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it was not only that, it was also, I really, at that 1-1, one, one, I was thinking, not again. It, it's impossible. It's it's it can't be with the red card and the, the red card. Yeah. It start it started with the red card. Yeah, and the penalty. Two and penalties for them. First one, Marvin takes the first one. Yes, and then it was it was the red card. Then the two penalties. Yeah. Okay, but then, you know, I was always hoping, and I knew we are Brentby, so we can make it uh, no matter what. Then there was a penalty. Uh, no, there was Uri goal, uh, first, first goal, yeah. right? So, and then there was the penalty, mm -hmm. safe, and then was the penalty. And the red card in the same situation. Yeah, in the situation. same. So, and then was 1-1, one, one, right? Yeah. yeah, and then, and then Hedlund got this amazing, amazing, amazing save that was... And then, I think there was a point for me in the game where I thought, hey, I think they can make it. They can make it, I don't know how, but they can make it in any way and uh, yeah luckily there was this pass <laughs> back to the goalkeeper and luckily there was a uh, there was Uwe with his uh, 
with his smell mm -hmm. uh, for that pass and then it was just uh, I can can remember that I was running through through the, through my house and but I was also shocked in a, in the same way because I realized then okay now 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 they they will make it now they will they will make 16 years uh, forgotten or they can make it 16 years yeah. uh, forgotten and it was and they can also make uh, 2018 in a way forgotten for many players who who had that experience as well and especially the fans. Uh, that was like uh, the biggest thing in that uh, in that story, mm. and uh, I can remember that uh, when uh, when the final whistle came, I was the first thing I thought was like, okay, they will make it 100%. But then I also thought I was already like in a, in a, in a mood to to be. Uh, I was already focused for the notch game, and I was really like. One week, mm -hmm. I think. No, no it was uh, a few, few uh, was four all, days. Four days, yeah, four days. Say, okay, four days, and then uh, I didn't go for the championship. Okay, after four days more, and then three days more, two days. More. Then the, was finally the day. And of course, I was thinking in my time, uh, Brentby, Nordschland, Nordschland was always difficult. Away more than home, mm. but also home. It was we, we we had a lot of games where you were thinking, ah, oh. and they are sometimes they are kind of a surprise. You, ne you you don't know what you get. You you can beat them for zero, but they sometimes they could also beat you three zero mm -hmm. or four when they were like in the, in their in and their, they, in their they game still mood. had Kamal Dean and yeah 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 what so yeah. but at that day I felt there's no chance that uh, Brentby will will lose this game. There's no chance that they will not make the they, they will not make the championship today. Not not o uh, not only the players, especially the fans. Mm. You could see that. I'm 100 percent sure the, the 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 players could could feel that as well, and uh, you could see it from the first minute on. The whistle started, I think, now after seven minutes or something. I said to Yuli, "When we going to be champion? 100 percent." 100%. When we want to be champion, and then after after last goal, uh, first goal, there was also Nordschland knew that after I think 10 minutes, yeah. it was just it was just crazy, it was just insane, and I felt so happy for the club, the fans, uh, the players, uh, and also especially the players uh, they experienced uh, 2018. That was just it was for me a kind of finally. Finally, mm. uh, uh, 16 years are gone, and finally this pot, in Germany you say pot, is home where it belongs. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, it was, it was for me, even I was 900 kilometers away, a uh, very special moment. I don't remember who I was talking to. If it was maybe it was Lasse or CV or I don't remember who it was, but it, someone who told me that this championship was also for the 2018 team. Yeah. Like, did some of the guys say that to you, that this one was for yeah. you also? Yeah, a lot of guys said it. Um, because, because it I, was? I texted uh, all, all the guys afterwards and a lot of guys wrote that, of course. To be honest, it still hurts. And uh, yeah, it was the, uh, the biggest uh, loss I've ever had. And. Uh, I think also the the most devastating moment in in my career, um, but it also felt, in a way, for me, kind of a relief when I saw the guys uh, celebrating and uh, when I saw the um, the championship was 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 home. But of course, if you ask me now, uh, I would I would like to have it in uh, in, uh, in in 2018 as well. Me too. But uh, sometimes it, it's, I would say in a way, it, sh it maybe should be like that. Uh, I would say maybe we prepared it in 18 and they finish it in uh, uh, in 21. Um, uh, so, yeah. And for you, the the cup final in, in 2018 must be a special day because um, you scored maybe your most beautiful goal in your career in that <laughs> game that we don't talk about. So <laughs> to be honest, it was yeah. not uh, the most beautiful, but I, I would say the 
by far the most important goal. Even uh, I had a little bit of luck, but I, I wanted that, uh, that goal. And uh, I think you, you could see that. So, uh, of course, uh, the, the 18 cup win and especially my goal. And so many, it was all yellow. Yeah, it was. It was all, but it was so crazy. That was crazy. also something. I woke up that day and uh, you turned on the TV and you could see it, I don't know, nine in the morning. Uh, there was everything yellow in, uh, in Copenhagen. And I was like, I said, uh, Tony was my, my roommate. And I said, Tony, look at this. And I knew nine in the morning, we're gonna be a, a cup winner today, 100%. We will destroy them. Mm -hmm. Even we went 1-0 uh, down, but... Um, I had the same feeling in the stands because they scored that goal. Yeah. But I think there, there was, was just a wake no up doubt. Call. There the was a wake up call mm. for us. Uh, because but there was no doubt in my mind. We had a lot of chances before. Mm. I had Bisa, uh, uh, a busy um, uh, team who had a lot of chances. Um, I think it was Tipling as well. I, we, ha we had uh, actually a lot of, uh, of chances. Mm. We, we missed it. And, uh, and then we got that wake up call. And uh, I also knew in that corner, and also at the corner after, and in my corner, I knew have to equalize. We have to get back into the game as, as, as soon as possible because then we will win uh, 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 the cup final. And it was, uh, it was a difficult uh, game because also uh, Silkebo played, played, mm. played really well, played really good also this season. And they had also really good, uh, good players in. So it was not like, uh, it, was not, uh, it was not an easy game, but I, uh, we had so much uh, confidence that for me it was Latest uh, the, after the one zero down, I knew okay, we're gonna win. We have to, we have to, we have to win this game, and yeah. we have to bring uh, this cup home for uh, for the fans. And that's it's also a memory in my in my life, in my career, but especially in my life, I will I will never, never, never forget. And I I didn't score that much goals, but this, that goal was by far the most important, and for me personally, the most. Beautiful goal uh, because of the ending uh, I ever uh, I've ever scored. Uh, yeah, they threw the shoes. Yeah. They threw the shoes to us, yeah. and there was also <laughs> something. You know, then I posted that with the shoes, yeah. and a lot of uh, uh, German uh, uh, friends and people, they were just uh, they were just like writing me, why are they throwing their shoes? And I was uh, I was like I have no idea, and then I was asking uh, Nöer and Holz mm. and the guys. And they said, like, I'm not sure if it's right, but they said, um, if they uh, wanna wanna give wanna show you something how they saw the uh, the uh, the game or uh, the performance, and it was like outstanding, the fans will throw their shoes uh, to the team. Mm. It's it like doesn't a, have, a, happen often. Yeah, it, it is like, a, I don't know how you say it, a, a honor or... It was a, out of respect, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we I was, salute you You know, the, 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 th the first thing uh, I thought, because also I was also uh, uh, um, talking with my dad afterwards at the phone, and I was like, I, I don't know if it was good, uh, dad, <laughs> or if it, if it was like a bad thing, because they were throwing shoes, and I was like, whoa, whoa, and there were so many shoes on the ground. Uh -huh. It was crazy. And I can remember that Holst and me were picking up the shoes and bringing them back, and I was... Yes, because people <laughs> were singing, my phone means school, my phone means school, because you had yeah. to throw them back. And, and the, the crazy thing was, I was also talking, we were afterwards talking in the bus, uh, Holz and all, and, and Johan, and, and, and also Hani, for him it was also new, you know, he, like a uh, German kid never had the experience, or in, in Benfica Lisbon, something like that. And, uh, and I, we were wondering, do you think every fan got his shoe back? <laughs> they you know, didn't. No, they didn't, 100%. No. Not. They, were, they came, they came had, home with one shoe. Many people had one shoe. Some <laughs> people had two different shoes. Yeah, really? <laughs> Some people had no shoes. <laughs> All right, so that's nice. That's crazy. really nice. Yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> but you know, also one of my all-time all favorite uh, games. But no, first I have to say, what many people are forget, in 1718, we didn't lose one derby. No. We didn't lose one derby. And in that season, we won in Pagen after 13 years. Yeah. That, that was, was the, also an the anniversary the other day, was 4th of November, as I remember. 
And 5th of November. 5th? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Imagine for me that victory, I was in the stands. Mm. I had never experienced a derby win in Parken before. I had not. Yeah. For my generation, that was like the. Yeah. That was the. And, uh, and also, and this is something also many people, I will not say for, 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 uh, forget, but I will never forget it. We won twice the derby home in the exact same, same second. Yeah. Not minute, second. 89. 43. 43. I will not forget that. 89, 43, Tipping scored, and 89, 43, Hani Mukta scored. Crazy. This, it, that is something. Uh, I'm going to start to believe in God now, I think. Now, imagine someone will tell you that before. Uh, you will, you, first of all, you will not lose any uh, uh, one derby in one season. Uh. And then you, uh, uh, you will win two derbies home in the same minute and second. You say, are you drunk? For real, are you drunk? It, that's, yeah. that, that's, that's and in the same, even, even in the we, same end, even we didn't make the, uh, I would say the, the top top goal at the end of the season. But of course we had the cup. That's also uh, uh, that was also really good. But just look at the whole season. Look, look how we played. Look, of course, you have to say Mütterland was uh, in that season. They were just so constant, and uh, and they also I think they that, that was the best uh, team they, they ever had mm. uh, in the last years. They have also good a really good team right now, but that was also also our team. Mm. I think in that three years that the 17 18 team was the best team, and we were really performing in the high level. I think we had a point average over two, yeah. and it was, but doesn't matter. But we had. There were so have, many stories in yes, that season. There were so many stories, and of course, even we didn't make the uh, the championship. Um, that was uh, that is a season I will never forget in my life. But we still talk about the so, yeah. We already talked about some of the derbies, but there was also the the three-two game in Mütterlein. You remember with Tony's goal? Tony's goal, and and uh, the season before the Mütterlein semi-final. Yeah, with where Nurse. We made, uh, where we made the cup. Uh, yeah. yeah, with the with the cramp in the yeah. cup. Where we made the cup uh, final after I, I don't know how many years. Uh, also so since 2008 it was. Yeah. So it was yeah nine nine years. Nine years eh? Yeah, yeah. And it's like I said. There's so many memories, but also. You can. I can start in 16. Hertha. Hertha. Okay. I can start in 16. Yeah. Hertha. But also for me, for example, my first uh, um, uh, European quali qualification mm. game in Reykjavik. Yeah. I can remember. I think we played there in our time. I think at 12 in the night or something yeah. like that. So we had really like a, I would say not a problem with uh, mm -hmm. with time, but it was and it was so weird. And it was like uh, daylight. Daylight. Yeah. At 12 in the in the night. Yeah. It was. There are so uh, many, of course, big memories, but also for me, small, uh, kind of small memories, but I will never, I will, I will never forget. Mm. Uh, it's also, for example, after the 7-0 in, uh, in Aarhus. Was it the 7-0? Or was it uh, the year after when I got a red card? I had to, no, I think it was the first year, I had to drive back with the life, mm -hmm. because I had a doping uh, test. Yeah, yeah. I swear, one of the, my best four or five hours in a car. To, to learn and uh, to know life, uh, that, that was one of the, also one of the best things here in, uh, in my time in, in Brentby. And I could, or I feel it now, when I, come to, when, when I see him, uh, I just want to hug him and, uh, and show him love because... Life is life. Life is life. And I can remember, it's actually also a funny story. Uh, always when uh, when we celebrate after the game, um, life was screaming before, and you know how it mm. is. And then we had that idea actually uh, to put that life is life song on, um, because sometimes he was not there, or sometimes he he was like he was working, you know, mm. he's all the time working. But mm -hmm. um, then he was like he was where's life? Uh, he has to like uh, um, scream it up, you know, and then. We made always like first life is life on, it's like to uh, uh, to get him, and then he realized oh uh, the song is on, he was coming, and everybody was singing life is life na 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 na. I think 30 seconds, and then it was like we turned the we turned the the, the phone off, 
and then he was like seven. Yeah. And it's also something now when I see the guys celebrating, for example, after the derby or and uh, life is life is they coming. Still do it, the, yeah. yeah, it's still it's still here. Mm. It's, they still do it. So um, it's also something really special for me because we uh, brought that uh, we brought that in, um, and uh, it's just good good to see. It's really good to see and. Uh, yeah, I said it uh, these days to, to my father. It's just my second home here. It is, it is in the, I get, every time when I talk about it and when I'm here, I get emotional. It's, yeah, it's just like, it's just home. It is, it is like this. It, it, for me, it was not just three years. For me, it was really, and I can also say that from the bottom of my heart, it was so hard and tough for me to leave uh, uh, Puenpi and, uh, and Denmark. Um, because, of course, I was, I was happy to, to come home, uh, to get home. And, uh, but it was, it was also, I, had, I would say I had a smiling uh, eye and uh, mm. uh, a really deeply crying heart. Uh, because, uh, yeah, and I can, I, f I feel it now. And uh, of course, I was also talking yesterday with Kevin about it. Uh, when I said to him, uh, because he asked me, how is it to be, to be back to be, and I said like, it feels like I, I never left. Mm -hmm. But, and it's so, it's so, we, we're just walking around, we're just driving around and I say, yeah, look at this. Uh, the other day we were sitting two hours in the boat just to drive up and down, just to see uh, what's new. And uh, there, my, my father loves this, uh, this church to go up, you know, and, uh, on top. Uh, and uh, he said, ah, look, there's the, there's the tower. And uh, it might be these small things, but it, it, gave, or it gives me uh, uh, so much. And, uh, but I said to Kevin, it's good that I will always come back and have these uh, feelings because I, I don't know if, if, if when you live here uh, for, the, for three years, it might be something normal, you know, mm -hmm. to have all these water around you, the good people and, uh, um, and Brøndby and, uh, and all the things. But uh, of course, I, I miss it really, really a lot. But it shows me just now how, how deeply it is in my heart and, and how easy it is to come here as well. Um, uh, I think we were just flying for an hour, or one and a half hour. Um, so yeah, it's it's just good. It's a to good be home. To be home. It's good to be second home. Uh, to be in my second home uh, like this. And uh, yeah, it's also nice to to have two games, Thursday and Sunday, yeah. and uh, to meet all the guys. And it's also Funny in a way, uh, of course, I, I, I did not tell everybody that I come. So uh, some guys, they realized me in the club, but I could see in their face, okay, looks like Rekord. I cannot be Rekord because <laughs> why should be, he be here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, it, oh, it is. And, then it was, and for me, it's the same. It was like, ah, I come here and uh, yeah, I just, uh, I just had a, a really good time. Looking forward to the game today, and uh, I'm already looking forward to to the next time when I when I'm here. Yeah. So, nu snakker vi dansk. Du forstår du hvad jeg siger nu? Selvfølgelig. Og så er det med at snakke sådan lidt hurtigt vestdagen. Nej. Yeah. <laughs> in Germany we also we have that in our hometown it's called Schwäbisch. Yeah. It's like it's a tough. Uh, German for not the Germans who are from that from from that area. So um, yeah, but that that's one thing I rem uh, I really have to say. I'm happy that my English is uh, as good as it is right now because of uh, Denmark. Mm. Um, but that's one thing I a little bit uh, regret about my time here in uh, uh, in Denmark these three years that that uh, I'm not uh, into the language I I would have been. Um, uh, I, I took my, my lessons, but it was so hard for me. Uh, it was really difficult. Also, I took it with my wife. Uh, we had a teacher, and I understand a little bit when it's uh, when it goes slow. And uh, uh, but mostly, I can read a lot. Also, the newspapers I read sometimes. Uh, sometimes I use the translation, but often I try it uh, 
how it is. Um, but that's one thing I really uh, should have done, uh, maybe a little bit. It's not too late. Yeah, it is. It is not too late. Yeah, you're right. Uh, but uh, yeah, I keep with the reading yeah. and uh, sometimes listening to the. The best thing was actually um, uh, when the guys uh, in training were just talking uh, with Reto and mm. uh, and, uh, and the play yeah with Gamle, uh, just Danish, you know. And then uh, you hear, uh, you listen to Hoyer, Wenz uh, and Sku and and all these uh, things. And then okay, um, I'm coming a little bit into it. Um, but in our time, we just uh, we, we were just speaking uh, English, which was also good. Mm. But uh, yeah, afterwards, if I would say uh, uh, after that three years, that was really one thing uh, um, I should have done. Maybe with a little bit more, uh, with the same energy, maybe with on a pitch. And then uh, <laughs> after two months, I would uh, talk with you now in uh, Danish and not in in English. <laughs> but you, but you can say to all your friends in. In Bromby Stadium, look in the camera and say, "We see it's per stadium." We see it's per stadium. <laughs>